So the real question is what does the 1 in 20 dilution mean and what is the total volume of your preparation? Hello, this is Dr. Dankwa and if this is your first time here and you like to learn pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So let's get right to it. So this was a question that was asked by one of the subscribers and I felt it to be very beneficial to the entire community. Now the question says, what volume of a 2% weight by volume solution is required to prepare 200 milliliters of a solution such that a 1 in 20 dilution will produce a 1 in 5000 solution? So here, a useful thing will be to have a strong physical understanding of what is going on in this question. So if you can try and imagine it, what you actually have is you have some volume which is 200 milliliters so here the volume is actually 200 milliliters and you prepared this 200 milliliters using a 2% weight and volume solution so the concentration is 2% weight and volume and the volume is 200 milliliters now the real question is what exactly is the volume of your total mixture and the way you do that is to make use of the 1 in 20 dilution and then your ultimate concentration so the way it's going to happen is you're going to take all of the 200 milliliters and prepare a total quantity that will have a concentration of 1 is to 5,000. And so to be able to actually determine the volume of the 2% weight by volume solution, we need to more or less work backwards. And so the first thing that we need to find out is what the total volume of our preparation is going to be given the 1 in 20 dilution. And so the way we do that is we take the 1 in 20, which should be 1 part over a total of 20 parts, and that should be equal to 200 milliliters divided by some quantity. Now, when we solve for the unknown, which is X in this instance, it will give us a value and that value will be the total volume of your solution. And that solution is what should have the concentration of one is to 5,000. All right, so we'll go ahead and solve for X here. Now X is going to be equal to 20 times 200 milliliters divided by one and that should give 4,000 milliliters. So now this 4,000 milliliters actually is the total quantity that you're making. And that is what has a concentration of one is to 5,000. So the next thing that we need to do is actually determine the actual amount of solute that is present in the 4,000 milliliters given the concentration of one is to 5,000. So we start off by taking the concentration, which is 1 is to 5,000. That implies that you have 1 gram of solute in 5,000 milliliters of preparation. And that should be equal to some quantity in grams divided by the volume of our total preparation, which we found to be 4,000 milliliters. So we can go ahead and solve for Y, which is our unknown. And y is going to be equal to 1 gram times 4,000 milliliters divided by 5,000 milliliters. And that gives us 0 0.8 grams. So this 0 0.8 grams is the actual amount of solute that is present in the 4,000 milliliter preparation. Now, it's important to understand that all of this 0 0.8 grams is coming from the volume of the 2% solution that you use to make the 200 milliliters. That is the actual source of all of the 0 0.8 grams. Now, that is important because we can then use the 2% concentration, which implies that you have 2 grams of solute in 100 ml. 
of preparation. And so we can figure out, well, if we have 0 0.8 grams, then what exactly will be the volume that we need to take? And so we can go ahead and solve for our unknown, which here is Z. And so that will be equal to 0 0.8 grams times 100 milliliters divided by 2 grams. The grams can cancel out and you actually end up with 40 milliliters. All right, so let's summarize the key steps. So there are three key steps. First, you need to be able to determine the volume of your preparation, and that is obtained by using the 1 is to 20 dilution information and the original volume that you prepared. So that's how we get the total quantity, and that's very important. And then the next thing is to determine the actual amount of solute that was present in the 4,000 milliliter preparation using the one is to 5,000 concentration information that was given. And then we use this amount of solute to determine the volume of the 2% weight by volume solution because all of this 0 0.8 grams is actually coming from that 2% solution that we took to make the 200 milliliter preparation so i hope you found this video tutorial useful if you did be sure to like it and share it and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i'll get to them as soon as i see them if you'd like to learn more pharmaceutical calculations tips tricks and strategies then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video